Hey everybody, welcome to 2019. I am back. I can't believe it has been a few months since I last made a video. It has been a whirlwind couple months for me uh, between Thanksgiving, traveling, I had pneumonia, then traveling back to Ohio, and now it's the first couple weeks in January. It just has been a whirlwind and time has gone by way too quickly. So I hope all of you had a really, really great New Year's and holiday and all of those fun things. I'm ready to get back on track for 2019 and I figured why not start off with a video uh, with all of you. I want to first of all take a, just a brief second to thank all of you who have sent me many, many, many messages about, you know, if I was okay and making sure I was well, um, if my health was all right. Uh, every single one of those I read and I appreciated more than you will ever know. I do struggle a lot with my health, so it meant the world to me to get those messages from you that you actually cared and took the time to realize I was gone and that you sent, spent you know, even if it took you a minute to write me an email, that it you did that uh, and it brightened my day. So thank you so much. I do struggle. I have been struggling. The pneumonia really kicked my butt that just has triggered some more hormonal stuff, the migraines. Long story short, I'm in the process of getting all of that stuff worked out. So hopefully I 2019 will be the year of what shall we call it? Plateau. I just want to get to a balanced spot. I want to get to somewhere that I that I am okay and just ride it out for a while. I the yo-yoing and the going up and down has been really hard for me. I finished out the year last year with a about eighty eight thousand dollars in sales. I thought that was really really good for you know being off and on so often and traveling and working part time. So I was pretty proud of myself. Eighty eight thousand that is gross. So that is without everything taken out. I'll do another video and break down all of that so you can kind of see how much were fees, how much is shipping, how much I paid to places like Poshmark, PayPal, eBay and um, you can get an idea of how much I paid for inventory, all of those kind of things. So what am I gonna be working on for 2019? Well, I haven't totally confirmed all of this yet. I really have been talking a lot with my husband and I, I really need to focus a lot on my health this year. I have some new great doctors at the Cleveland Clinic that I have been working on seeing and had some appointments with them I have some more appointments with them coming up. And so the goal of 2019 is definitely going to be focusing more on my health and my wellness. Uh, so the other half of that, which is why I started this channel in the beginning, why I started my blog, um, is to help those of you who need help with reselling or working part-time, needing money for extra money, side hustles, whatever the case may be. So I think I lost that sense of uh, service last year and it really kind of burned me out by the end of the year. And then with the health stuff, I, I just lost my way a little bit. So I wanna renew that and I wanna renew some of the videos I was doing in the beginning about how to get started, how to help you you know, with the shipping and how to help you thrift, how to help you find things. All of those things, all of those videos and tutorials that I start out doing that have the most views, that are the most helpful to people, I really want to spend more time on those kind of content and videos. I've been doing behind the scenes some um, Poshmark uh, closet reviews. People have really liked them. When I worked for uh, Children's Services, I did case reviews. So I would sit down and go through all the case files and saw what we missed before we submitted them to court. So I'm pretty good at looking at them through different eyeballs. I like to look at the Poshmark closets through a buyer's view, also through a seller's view. So I go through, I look through at a buyer's view, and then I go through and I look through a seller's view. And then I usually get about a pa at least a page, maybe if not two pages of what 
is work, what I think is working and what I think could be improved. You can find all of this stuff that I'm about to talk about on my website at bexabosslady.com backslash shop. The link is in the description for this video. Um, and so I just think that it's important sometimes to get a, you know, third party view on the closet. And I've had a lot of great feedback and, and um, it's been nice to talk to a lot of different people about their closets, what they're um, thinking of doing, what they're trying out, and then how I thought my tips could intertwine with that. And they've been seeing some good results. So that's been working out well and I haven't really been um, talking about it much, but now I am. So that has been working and, I, and I'm really enjoying doing that. And then I also, per people's requests, have been bringing back my reseller inventory boxes over the last few months. I've had quite a few emails from people who are like me, who have small children at home, um, who are disabled, who cannot go out and thrift, asking me when I would bring the boxes back. So they're back, they're on a limited basis. I have a lower price point because I um, am going to be taking a little bit longer to get them out to you. That way I'm not rushing out to constantly find inventory. Um, and the other thing is I'm not going to spend as much time uh, steaming everything, getting it individually packaged. That was some feedback from people is they would rather have a lower price on the items and do that stuff themselves than to have the higher price. So that's what I am doing with those. I am still reselling mostly, I'm going back to mostly shoes. It's easier for me health-wise to list them, to find them to and to sell them. So I'm going back to that. And so it's just gonna be an experimentation year. I'm gonna try some new stuff, see if it works. And if it doesn't, try something else. One thing that I really thought I was going to get into this year, but I've decided that I'm not, is Amazon, selling on Amazon. I just really, I have no interest in doing it. I see so many people who are doing it and they're making a bajillion dollars. And I really, I don't know. I really just have no interest in it. So if you're interested in selling on Amazon, I'm probably not the person to watch because I, I am not, I'm not gonna sell on there. So I won't be ever creating videos on how to sell on Amazon. But I will start doing, per people's requests again, uh, some videos about selling fashion used clothing on eBay because that seems to be something people are either afraid of or they're not sure about. And there's a lot of questions about selling clothing on eBay. So I will start doing some small kind of tutorial eBay series videos. If you have any questions about eBay that you want me to answer, that you feel like you know aren't answered well enough or you just want another person's take, just comment below this video and uh, I will add it to my kind of growing list of videos that I want to create this year. My goal for this channel is to be able to create at least two videos per week for you with content on how to improve your reselling business, to make more money as a side hustle, how to run a part-time business, whatever the case may be. This is the video to write tips, or not tips, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, tips for videos that you want me to do. So if you're like, hey, I really would like, um, help with this can you do a video on it comment below because i am going to kind of use this video as a running tab for future videos and um you know I mean, you can write them on other videos it's fine but i would love it if, if i could find them all in the same place that it would be amazing um but yeah so everything is kind of settling down here i am really excited about my new office decor you can see my ladies in my shoes here I do have an, another suggestion. I question. I need your suggestions. What do? I, what would I put like right below here? I feel like there's too much, too much space, like flowers or a vase or vase or whatever. I don't know. I need an idea of what to put under there. 
because it just seems a little bland. And then you can see I have my shipping station under there. Um, I am gonna redo a couple of my shipping videos because they are kind of old and my Poshmark video still says you can't use flat rate packaging on Poshmark, which is not accurate anymore. So I feel like I need to update some of my videos and this would be as good of time as any. Um, yeah. So I'm back. I'm glad to be back. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll put the link to my website if you're interested in checking any of this stuff out. If you don't care, then, you know, whatever. Thanks for watching this one. And um, I will see you next time. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.